This video will present the photographs I took of Jupiter and Saturn on the sky, November 19th through December 21st of 2020, as the Great Conjunction occurred December 21st of 2020 for Jupiter and Saturn. Um, these uh, photographs are kind of following in a sequence I did from early in the fall. That's another video that you could view. Um, so the other videos related to this conjunction would be a description of conjunctions in general and what's really happening here December 21st. Uh, second video, um, photographs from this fall. And a third video explaining why it is that uh, conjunctions for Jupiter and Saturn occur about every 20 years. Um, and to view these, it's best if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's no cost. I don't ask for donations. Um, view my playlist that's titled Astronomy Images and General Interest. And then in that playlist, look for videos that start with um, Jupiter-Saturn 2020 conjunction. So August 11th, 2020, uh, looking south from our home in uh, southwest Omaha, and Jupiter and Saturn well separated here. And here's the asterism of the teapot in uh, Sagittarius. But we come to December 21st, 2020, and um, It'd be difficult for you to see the separation here of Jupiter and Saturn on this photo, but now they're only 0.1 degree apart. This is from a park in southwest Omaha. The street lights at the, the parking area illuminated the ground, um, but uh, we have here the conjunction, the great conjunction of 2020 for Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter and Saturn close together on the sky, not close together in space. So how did I make the measurements? Well, so you might pause and read my method for measurements here, but basically I crop the photos, I enhance the brightness so I can see reference stars, um, measure the distance in centimeters between those stars, and also measure the distance between Jupiter and Saturn in centimeters. Use the coordinates of the stars found from the Stellarium Planetarium Program. Uh, put those into this website calculator, celestialwonders.com. That tells me the angular distance between the stars on my photographs. And again, I've cropped them differently. Each photograph has a little bit different magnification in it. Generally, it's about 0.4 degrees per centimeter is the scale of these photographs. Then I would take that number and multiply by the distance in centimeters between Jupiter and Saturn and come up with the angular distance between Jupiter and Saturn. Um, my number is, I would estimate, accurate within plus or minus 0.2 degrees, um, perhaps plus or minus 0.1 degrees in, uh, in December. So here we are, November 19th, moon overexposed because I wanted to pick up the stars uh, in, this, in the star field near Jupiter and Saturn, but well separated, 3.4 degrees apart. And then uh, November 27th happened to be a jet going across the sky, so it's a timed exposure. So the blinking lights on the jet and the uh, uh, jet trail behind here was visible. But Jupiter getting a little closer to Saturn, 2.6 degrees apart. November 30th, 2.2 uh, degrees apart. December 4th, uh, still taking these from my home at this time, and I put my hand up here to try to shade the uh, camera lens from a street light that was inconveniently positioned. But Saturn here and Jupiter down at the bottom, uh, 1.9 degrees apart. And December 5th, Jupiter and Saturn 1.7 degrees apart. December 9th, 1.3 degrees apart. December 12th, 1 degree apart. December 18th, 0.3 degrees apart, and December 19th, 0.2 degrees apart, and then finally the um, closest approach viewed from Omaha, uh, 0.1 degrees apart on December 21st, and I uh, cropped this a little closer to uh, see more details. So we have Saturn. The rings are not really resolved here, but uh, it's Saturn here. Jupiter here, and you can see uh, three of the moons of Jupiter uh, in this line uh, across the equator of Jupiter. But 0.1 degree apart uh, is my measurement at that time. So look at the Wikipedia article for some uh, more information about this great conjunction. 
2020, we were 0.1 degrees uh, apart for the two planets on the sky. Of course, they're very far apart in space. No danger of a collision. Uh, the 2080 conjunction will be similar to this. The two planets will be uh, very close together. And if you'd like to view some other YouTube videos that I've recorded for physics and astronomy, uh, introductory courses, uh, lecture, lectures, and lots of problems worked out, sample problems, um, go to these websites. You'll see uh, the name of the video, how long it is in minutes, and a description of the content. All this is free. You do not register. You do not give your email. Uh, you do not make a donation. Uh, you just um, enjoy and learn as you watch the videos. Keep looking at the sky.